Well, if it weren't for Prince Poppycock uh, on uh, America's Got Talent, I would say be yourself. <laughs> but uh, there is something to be said, well, for Lady Gaga and for even Madonna, though I find some of what she did, the role she played, the images she created, and the influence on young kids, not good. But you, you can, but they're not hosting TV shows, that's the question. Uh, I don't know how any of them would uh, wear well. If you're gonna host a TV show, look at the most successful ones who's, who've ever done it. Mike Douglas, uh, Merv Griffin, Johnny Carson, uh, certainly Dave Letterman. I mean, they're, they can be funny, but basically they are themselves. And of course, what I did uh, was always, I was myself. I didn't try to make anybody think I was anything different. I was even willing to take a lot of kidding for being who I am. And so to be natural, to be as spontaneous as you can, if you've got to read teleprompters or cue cards, try not to... Uh, you know, try not to make it too obvious that you're reading what you say because people are not going to be as uh, uh, impressed by what you say if they see you're reading it somewhere. My most frightening moment on television came on The Ed Sullivan Show when I'd made a big deal about kids not knowing our patriotic songs and I recorded the, still the first only guy in 50 years to this day to record all of America's great patriotic songs, including military anthems. And, and uh, Ed Sullivan knew about my, my campaign to make kids aware of our songs. So he had me come on, but for some reason, we chose a, a very lesser known song called, uh, This Is My Country. This is my country, land that I love. Well, land of my birth and uh, so he introduced me and said, now let's welcome this fine young gentleman. He's going to sing one of America's great patriotic songs. Here's Mr. Pat Boone. And um, now I'm singing. It's going great. It's live. It's the number one show on TV. I've got cue cards because I know the chorus, but I don't know the verse very well. And I got the top cue card guy in the business, Barney. And um, it's going great. I get to the this is my country. Uh, to have and to hold. Now I get to, now I'm at the release, the bridge. Fortunately, it's out of tempo. And, and the cue cards slither all over the floor. Barney for, never happens, but they just slide all over the floor. I don't have the words, and just that knowledge wipes out any words that I thought I knew. And I'm having to make up something on the spot on the Ed Sullivan show. So I said, with hand upon my heart, I thank the Lord, and I'm looking over. <laughs> Please pick up those cards for these United States, for these are ours, our own United States. Yes, these are ours, they're all of ours, our own United States. I thrill to think what this can mean to you. Rum, rum, bum, bum, bum. This is my country. Now he's got the cards up, I know the rest of it. Ed Sullivan was very impressed that I was able to keep going even though the cue card just slid all over the floor. Surely, my wife called me from California, because this was New York, in where Letterman does his show now. And, uh, <laughs> and she says, did you forget some words? I said, did I forget words? Yes. And, and she said, I said, was it really terribly obvious? She said, not really, but you always look very intense when you forgot. I said, yeah, because I'm composing. I'm having to compose a song on the spot. And the words, when you see them printed out, as you just heard them, they're really inane. But, uh, but I got away with it. At least I knew the melody, and I could, <laughs> I could put some words to the melody. And since people didn't know the words, I got away with it. But, uh, but it was the most frightening moment of my career.